Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to an episode of Pat Tay's Performance. We are working on the element. Okay? Uh, very simple upgrade today. And this is a must. If you guys see here, right? Look at my element. Right? And look what it's look what it's missing. So I was just looking at something. So as you guys could see, if you guys could look, the roof only opens up a certain amount. And as a, um, because I went to go transport something, look what's missing. And what happened was, I had a, I had my aerator in here, I left it out. I was transporting it home, and something shifted, something happened. Now, I haven't figured out a good solution to transport, you know, equipment in here, per se. It's not for moving around, but I was using a wheel chop, and it shifted, and what happened was it rubbed against my third brake light cover, okay, and it went out the back window, and it hit the car be Hypothetically, I think it hit the car behind me, and they tried stopping me, but nonetheless, I kept it moving. This is a very simple upgrade. One simple tool. Use a screwdriver. So what we're doing is we are going to extend the shock, right, and give it an extra three inches of clearance so it'll shoot up higher. So, you know, a lot of people like elements for camping and other things. I'm creating more space, more of an opening up front for equipment. So what we're going to do is we're going to do strong arm gas struts part number 4325. Now, I know my car is running. There's another part of my Honda series though, because I actually installed an Android deck, and I love it. You see? Look at that. Can you guys see the strut difference? Can you guys see the difference already? Let me take you guys off the stand. All right, we're going to line this up, here to here, fully extended, and look how much extra we're going to get. So that's going to tilt up my hatch higher and push just further up out of the way. So what we need to do is there are these clips right here. You just go in there and push out. Whoops. I'm doing this with one hand. And you see that? Now that's free, all right? Pull that out. <clears throat> all right, let me get you guys in. This is a little... Because that one's blown, okay? And you have to do the same thing to the other side. To pop this out. Now, when you do any type of strut or piston, right, you always want it facing down. And that will stop stuff from getting in and contaminating. So that's the edge of slaps right in. Up 
snap right in. There we go. And we're in. It's one side. I already started doing the top. Per se. So this is a good thing to know. If one of your pistons is weak, you can then keep up the other side. So anyway, what I like about these, so the reason why I got these from Advanced Auto, I mean, they were only, I think the cheapest I found was like 12 and change off of eBay. Then you have to pay tax now. So you're really not getting that much of a good deal anymore. So these have a lifetime guarantee, and I love warranties, especially if I'm keeping this for quite some time. So, good luck trying to get a warranty from an online company. I tried it already, and it's actually really difficult. Yeah. See? Now look at this. Now, look how much higher I am. Right? Now it's on an angle. And let's check out this roof line. Make sure it doesn't hit the roof and crease it. So let me get up on here. I'll get you guys a good view so I can see. What you're seeing, you see that? Tons of space. We run a hand through here. We still have extra room. Check that out. Nice, quick, easy, simple mod. That's what we like. Um, these are garbage. So, anyway, so that's it. So if you guys want to get a little bit more storage, a little bit more space, because now the hatch can stay open. I put a snowblower in here. I don't have to worry about it trying to hit the glass. It's going to come here instead. So let's close it. The struts will come up, no hitting, no rubbing, it fully extends. We are good to go. So we gained at least three inches. All right, guys, if you guys find this video helpful, smash the like button, smash the subscribe button, and guess what? I'll see you guys on the next episode of Pat Taste Performance, Element Vlog Build. And don't forget to check me out on Instagram. All right, guys, later. All right, guys, check this out. I know I didn't really plan on this, Right, but <clears throat> I had a snowblower that I actually got delivered to me, but I met them at, you know, uh, Home Depot. They drove an hour to get to me because they didn't want to negotiate. He says, I'll deliver for the last price, and at the last price, I'm still going to make a really good amount of money. I'm literally doing nothing, and I'm actually texting with someone right now. I was going to offload this machine, but it seems like the guy's going to have me deliver it tomorrow to him. I'm not going to do anything, but check this out. Remember, under the what, remember this thing sits lower. Look what happens. It's going to hit. Now look, we're three inches higher. I have my light on. It's not hitting at all. I got tons of space. Can you guys see that? Look at that. Look at that, tons of space. No hitting, no nothing. Perfect mod. Perfect mod. Bonus footage. Alright guys, later.